Well, here we are again. Here we are. Yeah. Christina. Vera. And guess what, you guys? Today is the most fabulous day because it is Vera's My birthday. birthday. <laughs> well, actually, by the time you see this, it might not be her actual birthday. Yeah, that's true. But it's her birthday month, so yeah. it still counts. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and in honor of the birthday girl, yeah. I thought it would be really fun for us to hear one of her favorite, I know it's one of my favorite, hypnosis stories. Yeah. Because Vera, obviously, she traveled around the nation. She traveled internationally to doing hypnosis uh -huh. for so many people. Yes. And this story is really, really intense. So, very I'm intense. Hoping that she would share it with yeah. us today. And I know a lot of you that are my former students are going to go, I know she's going to talk about Michael, but it's not. <laughs> That's my yeah. other favorite one, yeah, actually. Yeah. But this one was a, a young lady that had come to me, and it was in Indianapolis, I believe. And she came with her boyfriend, and you know, it was a weekend thing, so it's like I don't know them ahead of time. It's Everything is bam, 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 right? Because I would have seven sessions in a day. So it would be you know, the pre-talk, and then we'd get right into the, the session. So it was kind of a great learning situation for me because this was when I first started traveling wow so it wasn't like I was like totally experienced yet wow you know and this <laughs> jump came, into the fire oh my god you know <laughs> and I had had such great I had great success before that but oh my gosh this one was like so intense but she came to me she was with her boyfriend and you could tell that he was Pretty domineering. I was gonna ask, like, kind of control. Yeah, he was telling me what she needed. Oh my god. What gosh. she wanted, and that's why I stopped having two people in the room with me. Wow. Yeah, and uh, thankfully I followed my intuition. I did not allow him in the room whenever we did the hypnosis oh. hypnosis session because I don't think she would have gotten the information that she needed. Who could with somebody yeah. like that hovering yeah. over? And she was a singer in this lifetime, and apparently she has a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to make money off of it. Mm -hmm. And he was so angry with her because she couldn't sing in front of people. <clears throat> she oh. was like, she would just wow. clam up, or she would shake, or she would pass out, or you know, she just couldn't sing God, in front of a group. Geez. That's, I mean, just as an observer, just hearing that part, it's like, yeah. I wonder if he has something to do with it. Yeah, you know, well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> he did. They were in a past life together. And she did not want to sing in this lifetime. She did not want to sing. She found no joy in singing. Really? Yeah, and, you know, I asked her to sing for me. She's like, no, I can't. You know, cause she had, apparently, according oh, to him, because obviously, you know, he really wanted her to, because mm. he heard her sing before. Wow. But she was into a past life where she was a singer. Okay. She was a singer, and he was her manager. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And he would take her around to all these shanty. It was, I think it was in the 1920s, you know, where he would take her to all these different bars and different, you know, places to sing and stuff. And she just was, she was tired, and he would... You know, she was ragged. She was like skin and bones because she was so he, tired. He was just using her. He was just totally using her. And then whenever they were at home, he was abusing her. You know, he would beat her and, and things like that. So were they married in that life? Or? No. There was manager, but manager with oh, benefits, you could say. Poor thing. Yeah. Poor girl. Because he just totally... Totally used her. Yeah, totally oh. had her mind, body, and soul. You know? And so... In that lifetime, oh. he killed her because she wouldn't. She finally said, "I'm not doing it." And the way oh, that he did my. it was, he got a frying pan and he hit over, hit her over the side oh. of the head. So it hit the temple, you know, and she died. Well, this is making me want to cry. Yeah, if so she was, sad. I mean, it was so sad because she was, she was bawling through I the bet whole thing. She was. And then to know that he's the one. <gasps> And she you know? just knew it. She knew but she told me that she knew something wasn't right about she, him. She could but feel it. But she just it. couldn't get away from him. She was afraid of him. Oh, my God. You know, and all that stuff. So I, you know, told her, you know, we looked up, before she left, I looked up the hotline for in her community of where she could go to get help. Did you? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, and I said, don't let him see it. And I, I go, and we're going to oh tell him gosh. that the tape didn't work. 
Because I stopped taping. So you didn't even give her the tape because no. he would have found it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. My no, I said, I, you know, we'll just tell him the tape didn't work. And, or I'll give you a blank tape. I go, do you want me to do that? And she goes, yeah. Oh, so, you know, she's so free. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they left. And oh I was thinking, gosh. she got all of this, you know, closure. She got all of this release. She released all of the negativity. You know, and I said, and if you want to sing in this lifetime, you'll be able to. You know, and you're going to have the strength to be able to stand on your own two feet, blah, 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 all that good stuff, you know. And she was like, she was loving it. She was thanking me and all that. And, and of wow. course, after the session, he's like, well, is she going to be able to sing now? And I said, well, I don't know. You know, we'll see. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. This is this is an amazing he was story. Awful. Yeah. Well, a week later, I get a phone call from her. And she's going, I don't know what you did to me. And I go, what do you <gasps> mean? And she goes, oh the my side God. of my face has dropped. Oh my God. And I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, the side of the face that he hit me. She <gasps> goes, I'm like, um, I look like a stroke victim. She goes, what did you do to me? She oh was like, my. she was freaking out. And I oh was like, oh my gosh. I know. I was going, oh, you know, the cell memory was so intense that she had brought back and she didn't release. You know, she was trying to apparently, she, she told me she released it, mm -hmm. but obviously she didn't release no. it. You know, and I said, well, I go, let me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I go, stay on the phone. And thankfully Sylvia was there that Thank day. God. Yeah. So, I mean, I was oh, like, my God. <gasps> what am I going to do then? You know, so I was just like, I was thinking, how am I going to help this girl? You know, so I went to Sylvia and she goes, she goes, oh, she goes, she just has, she had a Bell's palsy. Reaction React or incident. Incident. And she goes, it would have happened anyway, even if she had not had a session. You know, it was just wow. something that she charted along with, you know, because it's so intricate, your chart, along with the session so that it really sticks in her mind. Oh my gosh. This is, a, this is crazy. Yeah. But amazing. Not crazy. It's just amazing. Yeah. So that it sticks in her mind that this is what could happen again. If she doesn't get away from this guy and she goes it's it'll be gone in two weeks she goes it doesn't stay long it's just something that happens and she goes she can look it up she can go you know go to the doctor and they'll tell her yeah oh my god yeah so I went back and I told her I said you know this and this and I told what Sylvia said and then she said okay and I said no just you know it's okay it's just that the cell memory is that strong and you charted it to be that strong so that you can be strong enough to do what you need to do to be free in this lifetime, you know, to stand wow. on Wow. You know? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You know, I just, I wanted to say really quick that, you know, the, the cell memory reaction was so severe, but still, cell memory is not something to be afraid of because oh, no. it's happening for a, a reason. reason. Yeah. You know? And that was, based, that was, in all the sessions that I've done, that was one that was, I've never had it ever happen again. Yeah. I mean... You probably already thought of this, but it sounds like if she wouldn't have got away from him, he could have killed her Done again. It again. Exactly. Oh See, my chills gosh. again. Yeah, so it was just a reminder. It's like, you know, this is what's going to keep happening and if you don't get away from him. What? So what did she say she when you told said, okay. her She just said, okay. You could tell that she was on the phone. She wasn't so sure. You know, it's like, all right. She goes, I'll give you two weeks. But so I don't know what she was going to do, but, you know, she goes, I'll give you two weeks. So she was blaming me for doing it. And obviously I can hear him in the background, you know, because she wasn't singing. Right. That was his old thing. So she called me back in two weeks. Yeah. And she said, thank you so much. She goes, I got away from him. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. And she said within the oh week that she talked to me that the Bell Palsy had left and she's back to normal. It was... She thought she was going to be like that for life. Of course. Yeah, you know, it's, it's scary. Uh, yeah, I'd be in full fear, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, but she was like, she was so happy. You could hear the lightness in her voice. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She did it. She did it. That is amazing. Yeah. And that's how strong we are. That's how, you know, sometimes we have to get punched hard, you know, yeah. before we listen. So, you know, it's sometimes people have to learn the hard way. You know, some people can just learn and say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, that's going to happen. I'll change it. But sometimes, you know, you have to, some people have to, like, I'm one of them. <laughs> but, yeah, so. Wow. You know. But, you know, please, don't be afraid of having a hypnosis yeah, session. No. That is, like, a rare case. 
but it was a powerful one and it was one that she had to go through. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. If, if there's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you have a sudden, sudden uh, reaction or a sudden illness or something yeah, that, that suddenly comes on. I think that's a virus or something too. Something. Yeah. Oh, really? The yeah. See, and, yeah. something, you know, it could be the cell memory. We just need to look at what's going on yeah. in her life. Because she asked, she told, she told me that she told the doctor that she had a hypnosis session and she thinks that's what did it. And he looked at her like she was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, that's too so, funny. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much yeah. for sharing that amazing story. Yeah, cell memory cool. is for a reason. It's like, you know, it makes me think of like a wound that we have in our soul yeah. that wants to come to the surface so we can release it once and for all. Yeah. But plus, it changed her life yeah. for the better. I'm so happy for her. Yeah. That's yeah I mean, I even went to Sylvia and I go, I don't think I can do this anymore. She goes, oh, get tough. Get out of here. <laughs> Pretty yeah. good, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing fearless and fabulous day yeah. today. Special birthday day. We are going to go celebrate now. My favorite restaurant. Yes, woohoo. <laughs> Shout out to Bud's and Stockton. Yeah, Stockton, if you guys are in the area. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, we'll see you next Saturday.